This is your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, April the 22nd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who's doing weather duty today out at the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama at Barber Motorsports Park. One of the huge events that we have going on this weekend, several of them outdoors today uh, and tomorrow, and that's something we'll be um, watching very carefully. The good news is uh, most of the things should be dry for today for the most part, could deal with a few showers uh, tomorrow morning out at, at uh, Honda, but we'll talk about that as we get into the details. Here's the uh, uh, jet stream map, 250 millibars up where the big planes fly. We see a big trough of low pressure across the central part of the country. That caused the severe weather um, on Thursday night and again yesterday. Uh, those showers and storms moving across into Mississippi uh, overnight. Uh, last night there was even uh, ahead of the system. Uh, one storm over northeastern Mississippi became quite strong, produced a, a funnel cloud near Boonville, prompted a tornado warning from the National Weather Service in Memphis. But as it moved uh, out of the uh, better instability, moved into some uh, air with an inversion over northwest Alabama. That storm weakened, fortunately, uh, just causing a lot of lightning over northwest Alabama last night. Now, at the surface, we've got a, a surface reflection there, some low pressures you can see in the darker greens over uh, Arkansas this morning. That low is going to be moving to the east through the day today, and that will help to trigger more uh, showers and thunderstorms for Alabama. Now, it was just this week that we were talking about a big tornado outbreak that occurred back in 1920. If you look at a surface map, a uh, very unusual low pressure system uh, that morning uh, back in April of 1920 that was uh, centered southwest of Memphis, sort of similar to this, but the difference is this uh, low pressure system today, very weak, very disorganized, and it doesn't have its act together. The uh, low back in 1920, very surprising, uh, caused uh, very strong backed southeasterly surface winds over Alabama, and that led to a major tornado outbreak uh, that produced uh, some of the deadliest to tornadoes in the uh, history of the state of Alabama, sort of a forgotten outbreak. Now, we're starting off nice this morning uh, for the most part. We've got partly sunny skies, some uh, showers over northwest Alabama, up around Walker and Coleman counties, uh, some clouds in the northwestern part of the state, also over south-central Alabama. But most folks, uh, partly sunny this morning. Uh, temperatures uh, starting off in the upper 60s. They're going to be rising through the 70s through the morning hours. We'll uh, top out in the lower 80s today for the most part. A few mid-80s down across uh, south-central Alabama. And uh, you'll notice an increasing uh, southerly wind as we go through the day. It's going to become breezy. It'll be warm. It'll be uh, a little bit muggy. Dew points rising into the lower 60s this afternoon. And uh, that will give it that uh, sort of muggy feel. Uh, not a real tornado weather type day, but uh, still something that um, will have our attention as we go through the day today. Now, as we get into the afternoon hours, uh, around uh, 2, 3 o'clock, we're going to see showers and thunderstorms forming over Mississippi, getting organized, feeding on 1,000 to 2,000 joules of Cape. Just enough uh, wind shear to keep them organized, but not enough wind shear to cause tornadoes, fortunately. Uh, so as these storms move into Alabama this afternoon, they uh, will probably be um, just past their peak and starting to go downhill. Uh, we don't see anything that tells us we'll have a tornado threat, but we could deal with damaging winds and hail as we move into the afternoon hours. This is uh, the look for somewhere uh, what we might see around 4 o'clock this afternoon. You see those showers and thunderstorms beginning to increase in areas west of I-59. They'll move into the I-59 corridor sometime between 6 and 8 o'clock predominantly tonight. Uh, on into East Alabama between, uh, say, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. They should be generally out of the area before midnight tonight. And, uh, again, these are the storms that will produce a severe weather threat for us. Now, one of the big events going across the area is the Honda, the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama out at Barber uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, All-day activities today going to be beautiful. Impact very low from the weather. Uh, that rain chance um, today. Only about 20% isolated shower or storm. Line of showers and thunderstorms moving in late. That could cause um, maybe a shower for the later afternoon activities. Everything over by 6.30 today at the track. Uh, so we should get most of the racing in out at the beautiful Barber Motorsports Park uh, east of Birmingham. Now, as we head into tomorrow, the showers and storms move through the area tonight. We could see a few sprinkles, uh, maybe a little light shower tomorrow, especially for the morning events. They start off around 8.30. Uh, but the big event around 2.30 should be dry. Now, it will be noticeably cooler tomorrow, uh, topping out around 83 today, 65 tomorrow. Some areas north of Birmingham 
going to have a hard time even getting out of the 50s. Now, the other big event across central Alabama today is the Alabama A-Day game, the spring football uh, scrimmage at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Huge crowd expected uh, to file into the stadium. Uh, 2 o'clock, the uh, kickoff becoming cloudy uh, during the game. Warm with temperatures in the uh, upper 70s to lower 80s. You'll notice a breezy south wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour, occasionally a little gustier than that. Uh, should be completely dry during the second half. Could see a chance with second half storm, but uh, data overnight indicating that we probably will be good. Get the game in, get you back to your cars. Now, of course, James Spann will be the uh, official chief meteorologist at the game, and he'll be in constant contact with uh, school officials. And uh, if severe weather does come in a little early, of course, uh, James and the team there will have a um, complete handle on it. Now, we mentioned cooler temperatures as we head uh, into the second half of the weekend. We'll be uh, around 65 on Sunday. These are uh, GFS numbers. We'll be uh, only around 50 degrees Monday morning. A lot of spots in the 40s uh, on Monday morning. It'll be even a little cooler on Tuesday probably, uh, lower 40s. But you'll see a nice warm-up returning. Uh, probably see 70s on Monday, I would think, uh, lower 70s. Um, I doubt we're still in the 60s on Monday, but we'll see how that goes. And we'll be back in the 80s very quickly as the air mass moderates. Lows will be climbing up back to around 60 degrees by Thursday. And as we head into the weekend, more mild temperatures in store. Hopefully a little bit of rain coming our way. We really, really need it. 16 days without precipitation. We'll probably pick up a half inch to around an inch of rain from the system today. And it looks like next weekend may uh, deliver about another half inch to one inch. We really need more than that. This is a, a time of the year we need to be making hay in the rainfall department. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, if you're heading to the beach this week, what a great week to do it. Some showers uh, late today and tomorrow. Uh, a little bit cooler for um, tomorrow night into early Monday. The rest of the week will be right around 80 degrees. Uh, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Lows at night will be back around 60 degrees. Now, look at that water temperature. Dolphin Island Sea Lab, the water temperature um, late yesterday, 78 degrees. Gulf of Mexico, very warm. And uh, that doesn't bode well for a hurricane season that probably will be a little different than we've seen the last few years in El Nino developing. And that could mean more close-in development and uh, could favor uh, a Gulf of Mexico hurricane this season. When, of course, you don't really know till you get there, but it only takes one. Uh, looking across the country, some folks having good luck in the drought department. That's California, northern uh, part of California especially. The northern Sierra now has recorded the wettest water season ever. Uh, the water year goes from October 1st to September 30th. They've already got 92 and a half inches of rain or, or liquid equivalent out there, and that bests the total for any total season which is 88.5 inches from the uh, 1982 to 1983 uh, water season. Now, they probably will get another six inches uh, of liquid equivalent between now and uh, September 30th, and so they could break the century mark. Wouldn't that be outstanding? Now, for us here in Alabama in the southeast, unfortunately, the uh, news is not so good. The uh, Climate Prediction Center issuing their uh, seasonal drought outlook for the U.S., uh, for the period from the end of April till the end of July. And as you can see, uh, lots of areas over Alabama and the southeast are already in drought. It will persist. And unfortunately, those areas that are out of the drought may see drought redevelopment likely. So go have fun today, but keep a weather eye to the sky, especially late this afternoon. Make sure that you review your, your severe weather safety plan. Also, make sure that you have a way to get warnings. Stay close to the blog throughout the day because uh, Scott Martin and I will have frequent updates throughout the day. The very latest weather information, those warnings will be coming straight to the blog immediately uh, within a matter of seconds from the National Weather Service. And uh, we'll be keeping you posted throughout the afternoon and into the overnight hours. That's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday, April 22nd. I'll be back tomorrow again uh, for your weather video for the 23rd since Brian will be out at Honda once again tomorrow. So it'll be my pleasure to be back and deliver the weather forecast to you one more time this weekend. So until we talk again tomorrow, have a great time today and enjoy life.